Hi everyone, this is Shirley. This is Jamming with Yarn, and I'd like to welcome you guys back. I want to welcome my new subscribers, my older besties, and those who are passing by. Please make sure that you definitely give me a like if you like the video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And definitely leave a comment, and it would be very nice if you would share my video. So, today's menu. <laughs> Ta -da! Today's menu is ocean tofu. Okay, I made that up, but that's what I'm calling it because I'm tired of trying to pretend like I'm eating fish when I'm eating tofu, and I'm tired of saying this is chicken like when I'm eat when when I don't eat chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna have to name these things myself. You guys see me make tofu. You see me do the uh, fish sticks. Oh, I said it. You see me. Okay, I'm only saying it because that's what the other people called it on their thing. So they were calling it fish. And so I did things their way. And um, I didn't like it. It was too long and too intensive. It was just too much. Okay, just give me some tofu and let it be done. Okay, so this is my ocean tofu it smells like the ocean it has the seaweed and it tastes like the ocean okay <laughs> so that is that i hope you liked the video and i hope that you will share uh take the time to come over to the other channel which is resolution of the heart and we can talk about how i got into this particular um eating style talk about me as a young girl talk about me as a young mother talk about me as a young wife talk about me 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 why because one thing no matter what i do you realize that the person that i think i am i'm not that important but the things that I want to tell you guys who may be young, who um, may be just starting out, you might just be starting out crocheting and you came across this channel and thought, oh, a crocheting channel. And you're young and you never crochet, but you, you have things going on in your life. You're a young mother. My other channel might be in inspiring to you for you to keep on going no matter what's going on. Um, you might be someone who been married, lost a mate, and um, that can be very, it can, it, it can help you in that case, I hope, inspire you. And then also, you can also learn about God. I look tired because I got this hat on. I always do this when I'm talking to you guys for somehow I start looking at myself and saying jeepers no anyway besides the point I really need to get my hair done you guys let me just say let me just say that I really do need to get my hair done it's so comfortable to put on that scarf and just go and I love it you know, it's, a, it's who I am. I identify with my scarf. And every day before I put my scarf on, I moisturize my hair and, you know, try to braid it up because I don't want it to fall off because it's like a wig, I assume, depending on what type of uh, scarf I have on and the weather and what's going on. But I like my scarves. And um, I was saying today, you know, for the first time today, I actually was bored. I've not been bored. I've been sad. I've been hurt. I've been a lot of things, but I haven't really been bored, okay? And I, I, I called my daughter and I said, you know, I'm bored. <laughs> this is new, okay? And I know there are things that I can do, like crochet and knit. And I think also in regards to that, I'm jumping, so you got to stay with me, is that I was taking a lot of my stuff to work with me. 
and I just started falling asleep. I just got tired, you know, and it was like, I just can't do it. No, it used to keep me awake, but then it was like, like, it just stopped. It became too much, you know, um, it was just, it was just too much. And I was working like 12 hour shifts and it was just like, I burnt myself out. I just burnt myself out. It was like, I can't do it anymore, you know? But I do have my sweater here. Matter of fact, let me show you guys the sweater. Okay, you guys, here we go again. Here's the sweater. I have, gotta get it. I had to cut the string off of it because it was all tangled up. I don't have much to do. I just dropped the thing. So here's the sweater. I think I put the same. Maybe when I do, when I'm on the other channel, I'll be, I don't think I'm that good. Okay. I know it looks tight. I don't even think I'm going to have enough yarn. So, okay. You can see the difference on the sleeve. One is here. This one actually looks like it needs to go further down. And this one I got to get down to there. Okay. This has to be done by the end of the end of the end of the month. So, I still have the front part to do. And it's an open sweater, so I'm not worried about that. I just have to find the pattern. Pattern. So, here's the sweater. You see where I'm at. I'm not itching, so that's a good thing. It must have been all in my mind, but I did shake it out. Um, I did take it out the other day and just swish it in the wind. After I cut the yarn um, off, just to make sure there was no dust or anything on it. Okay, so I digress so far. I don't even remember where I digressed from. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, um, and I have my Gigi Made It shirt on. I love this shirt. I didn't earn it today. I had an appointment today uh, to get some blood work done. And um, I, didn't, I didn't earn it. So it looks really wrinkled. Normally it's earned. Um, so anyway, I can't remember, so let's just keep it here. We're going to go over to the other channel, and I'm going to share myself with you. I'm going to let you guys know what I'm doing because I have started. Well, my granddaughter has worked on my business. Um, I have my business cards. I have my... Um, my other cards and I want to do my own thing um, I do like I'm bored with what I'm doing I am with this particular way I'm doing it I'm really bored with that and I've always been like a, I always been a self-employed person and I'm back <laughs> what can I say five years has been a long time my husband passed away in 2016. Um, I went through hell mentally. Um, it was very hard. I had a lot of challenges. Um, but the knitting and the crocheting, you guys helped me through. Me doing the work, um, donating the stuff that I made, that made me feel good. Uh, also, as time went on, me finding um, where I belong in regards to God has just opened up a new, it's opened me up. And I want to share that with you guys also, because that's who I am. That's a part of who I am. And that's a part of my journey. And I know for younger people who may be going through things and things seem to be harder now than they used to be because there's so much hate. There's so much hate in the world. Um, it's, it, it seemed to be harder and people are so, they're so hateful. They don't care 
I mean, you don't have to care, but you could have the respect of another person and their who they are, their belongings, um, just their space on this earth. Because the one thing is, mankind did not create anything. Okay, they might can show you how to redo the vegetables and this and that, but they didn't, we didn't do anything. And we are so fortunate that we are here. And we are, um, we, we're here. And that's a blessing in itself, even though sometimes it seems to be very hard. So I'm going to get off and we, you watch my video. Give me a thumbs up. Share it. Leave a comment. And I'll meet you on the other channel. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, let's see how this is going to turn out. I cut the fries, and um, this is part of them. Uh, I'm not cooking all of it. So I am going to see. I'm going to just use some water from here and hope that um, this works okay with the egg filler. I know you're supposed to, you shouldn't measure it, but because I find this so gummy, um, I'm not measuring it. And plus, I have all this other stuff in here. We'll see how this looks. I put two tablespoons of egg replacer in here. You know, you can get Bob's. I think it's Bob's meal. Or you can make your own. I think I left a... If I'll leave a video below to show you how to make your own. So it's not that... I think that's okay because last time it was so thick when I made it. I didn't show it to you guys but, and I didn't have all the seasoning in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my partially frozen tofu and um, I don't know what's the best way to do this. Put it in here wet and then dry. Move you guys back. Okay, cut this. And the oil that I'm using is coconut oil because that's all I have and it's not it's gonna foam up excuse me I need to call <coughs> it's gonna foam up which is not good for frying but that's what I have and guess what I'm hungry so I think it's good to make a video when I'm actually hungry um, which is often nowadays but what I found out is I am more fulfilled now as time goes on just eating um, vegetables hot meals like yesterday it's starting to fill me up yesterday i had all leftovers which were leftover cabbage some leftover red beans i made some hush puppies with that and oh hold on Okay, sorry you guys, my phone had rang and I had to pick it up. So I got most of these here already uh, breaded. And um, I'm going to grab another plate because I'm going to fry them. Oh, there's my phone. I love watching those little food videos while I'm doing this. So, um, yeah, that is an unexpected interruption twice. So my last one. It, it crumbed up and it doesn't take a lot of space to do this you know you can just throw this out this rest of this cornmeal we got that one this one broke up on me and so my grease is getting really hot hands is a mess gotta cut it down just a little bit and one more and that's the end of that breading I'm going to throw them into the hot grease. Move this all out the way. Sorry for the cleaning noise. Move that out the way. Move my little candy. Put it back in my cough drop. Back in my mouth. Okay. This right here is hot enough. Too hot probably. We're going to throw this and that grease it is going to bubble because of the grease.
and let it get brown come back and show you what it looks like so the rest of this I'm just going to wrap this up put it in the refrigerator cook it for later tonight this is the rest of the fries and let's see how this looks mm -hmm. right, because of the type of oil that's doing a lot of foaming and that's how it looks right there this is our tofu sticks give it a better shot and we're getting it nice and brown While this is cooking, let's make us a little secret sauce. We got a little small glass here, sour cream. I actually like the way this comes in this container. Um, just throw us a little bit of sour cream in there. Really, you need nothing. A little bit of hot sauce. Maybe a little bit of ketchup. You can add some seasoning if you want to to this. More little ketchup. That is our little sauce that we're going to have on the side with that. Let's see what our, um, see what our, um, our little, <laughs> our ocean sticks. <laughs> I'm going to call them ocean sticks. Yeah. See what it looks like there and you know it's never going to be like really really um crunchy on the inside it's always going to have that tofu texture but it's all good you guys so what i'm going to do i'm going to let this cook a little while pray over it and we will definitely have a taste test okay Okay, you guys, I am back. I'm going to scoot you mm -hmm. to the light a little bit more. Move my phone out the way. So here is the finished product. And let me get a little spoon. I need to taste this salt. Everything has been prayed on. Taste this food. And taste the sauce. That's what it's going to look like. Tastes good. I like most things. So here's my fries. I'm going to say mm -hmm. a little bit of pepper so here we go with our fried tofu which one do I want take this small one that's what it looks like let's see what it tastes like mmm I like it mmm okay tastes good the one thing about frying the tofu you can fry forever and it never gets really 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 hard this is really good i can do with the um ketchup let's see mm, that's a good little brunch for today i'm gonna put a little ketchup on here For those fries let's see i'm gonna try this is mine because nobody is for me so i can double dip i wouldn't do that with the same spoon let's see mm. yep this is good you should try this you guys taste is delicious um if you want it to have a more seafood or seaweed taste, I, I'm going to just say an ocean taste. I would add more um, more of the um, seaweed to the dry batter. 
far as texture, it's fine. It tastes like a it tastes like texture. It doesn't taste like floppy tofu, but it tastes like it tastes like the seasoning and everything. The fries, um, I didn't have that much grease, so they're a little bit um on the soft side, but it's all good. Texture, perfect. I would give it a since this is a new try in this way for me, I give this a nine and a half unless I find another way. Taste is excellent. I give it a ten. Presentation, it is what it is. It looks like a um, a fish a fish stick dinner, which is just basically a tofu stick, a ocean dinner. <laughs> I don't want to be eating my fellow fishes and 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 beef, so I'm gonna say ocean dinner. The seaweed from the ocean gives it a fishy flavor. That's it. that's it. So until next time, you guys, please take care of yourself. Eat as uh, as much clean food as you possibly can today and any other days in your life, okay? Because it does, it do, it really do help. Also, um, just try to be happy, starting from within and bringing it outward. And if you can do something for yourself and do something for someone else, I will see you on the next video. Thank you for coming, and I'm glad you're here. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.